Hey everybody, I'm Trish Witkowski from FoldFactory.com and welcome to That's Foldtastic for Design TV. In this episode, we're going to be talking about high impact folding trick number four, broadside folds. So let's start by talking about what a broadside fold actually is and then we'll go from there. I've got a whole bunch of samples to show you with several different variations. It should be really interesting. So uh, a broadside fold is really just doubling the area by folding the piece in half on itself first before completing that final folded format. So this is a really standard um, eight pager, um, but this is a great little piece. Uh, this was uh, done by CJ Graphics in Toronto for um, Finn O'Hara, a photographer. And this is a great self promo and really visual large text on the outside and then it opens up into a really beautiful saturated poster of his photography on the inside. So I think he did a series of these actually, but really, really neat. So just folds in half on itself and that doubles the area. You get a lot of extra real estate. So here's another example. This was for Sage Software. This is taking a vertical trifold or letter fold and turning it into a broadside first. So they were able to put a some sort of a classroom training schedule on the inside, very practical. Broadside folds can be really practical. Um, and then it folds like this, and then like this. So it ends up being a 12 pager because of this, and this one is a square format. Now one thing about a broadside fold is it does increase the level of difficulty a bit because you're adding a right angle fold. So. Um, Parallel folds are folds that are parallel to each other. If this had been a standard trifold, there just would have been two parallel folds. But by adding this right angle fold, or fold that goes at right angles to these parallel folds, right, um, they have to use a knife folder, the printer does, um, you know, a different station. So it does add a level of difficulty, and um, paper consideration becomes pretty critical. But, uh, you know, still very common. And really worth it. So, all right, let's have some fun with broadside folds. This piece is from Foils and Dies in Denver. This is a letterpress piece. Such a clever concept. So they did just a little square, um, you know, eight-page broadside. But it may be a little bit difficult to see here. But what they did is they did a blind emboss on the edges and made it look exactly like a napkin, like a real napkin. It's got like you know doodles on it and a you know, a, a ring on it from a drink and, you know, scribbles and lines and, you know, somebody's notes. Um, but it really looks and feels exactly like a dinner napkin. So this is a very fun broadside piece. Really cool. So it can take on lots of different shapes and formats. Speaking of shapes and formats, this one is from Lawton Printers in Florida. And um, so we just saw this vertical broadside letter fold basically here, right? Now let's take the same fold, but let's make it into an oblong format. So this is kind of integrating to one of our other high impact folding tricks, which is a format change, right? So very unusual to do this kind of oblong format of a trifold like this. And then it's also broadside. Makes a really neat format. The paper is also like a pearlized paper, so it's got kind of a sheen to it, which is pretty neat. And there's a map in here. It's uh, it's some sort of a promotion for um, Marbella uh, condominiums, so at, at the beach. So format's very nice, really unique oblong format. And again, still you know that trifold, broadside trifold format. Pretty cool. You can also do a, a directional change. I love this piece. This is from Monadnock, so, um, you know, great paper to begin with. But what they did is they did a broadside gate, but turned the broadside fold so that it pulls down. So you can change the, the direction on it too. So, um, gosh, the color saturation on this is beautiful. I wish you could see it in person. But it opens like this, and then instead of pulling from the bottom, it opens from the top, so it opens down instead of like this, like a standard broadside would. So it's inverted in the way that it opens. Really beautiful. 
and very, very well executed too. You know, the thing about a, a broadside, although they're not entirely, you know, uncommon, a really well executed broadside is just a thing of beauty. And wait till you see the next one. So this is just, just really, really beautiful. And so much room for content and visuals and, you know, a poster or graphics. And, you know, people love to have things that they can hang on to. So very beautiful. Okay, so this is just so pristine. So as I was saying, a really well executed broadside fold is a thing of beauty. Well, this is from Polygraph in Virginia. Um, this was a piece they did for a show. It says Natural Selection. It's a art director's club. And this is a 20-page parallel. Pretty unique as a fold anyway, but um, just so beautiful. So it folds out like this. Okay, so you've got these extra panels like this. But then it opens up into a spectacular poster. So just everything about it is really, really well executed, beautifully designed, and a great use of broadside folding. And even better, this was even a self-mailer. So well designed, practical, wonderful keepsake on the inside, perfect format for mail, um, just awesome. So one more to show you. This is, this is always a favorite. Um, this is called a broadside booklet fold. This is when you kind of take broadside folding and take it to the next level. This piece was for a production club of Baltimore. Now this involves broadside folding and a simple die cut that uh, kind of makes all the difference. So um, th this is a great format for if you have a lot of content that really needs to kind of paginate. The way that this folds down, it creates the feeling of a paginated booklet without a bound edge. So you have a closed edge, but not a bound edge. You'll understand what I'm talking about in a minute. So you open the cover, and you can kind of paginate through. But then, if you pull like this, watch me here. I'll show you a couple different ways. It opens like this, and then opens into a poster on the inside. So I'll do it again for you. So you can see here that it's got eight panels. And there's a die cut exactly at the fold, only releasing the two, the four center panels, okay? But it's across the two panel widths, okay? These two stay connected. So watch it again. So you'll see that it starts to break open as we fold, right? Okay, now watch. And then it folds down. And there you go. So broadside booklet fold, very cool. So I hope this has given you some something to think about. Um, thanks for watching uh, high impact folding trick number four, broadside folds. And thanks for watching That's Foldtastic. Visit foldfactor.com for more ideas and inspiration and to sign up for my 60 second super cool fold of the week. I'll see you next time. Bye.